calls are already going out, and the effects are being felt right here in our city. As Tim Minton reports now from Fort Totten in Queens. Tim. Yeah, Tim, it's a semantics game at this point. What's happened is that officially the Army Reserve Command, which is headquartered here for the New York area, is saying no. It's easy to overlook. But privately, some reservists have told me today that they have been requested to appear Monday at 8 a.m. These would be support people who would assist then in the larger call-up of thousands more. So while few have gotten the word so far, most will have to wait for a few days to find out if they're staying or going. As thousands of reservist New Yorkers wait at their regular jobs for orders, many, like Nurse Nancy Radoslovich, think about duty they're committed to but didn't expect. I never thought that that would happen. You know, you just don't think that it's ever going to happen. And now it may be you that's... Right. Mm-hmm. Have to pack. The New York Reserve Command has one of the largest medical groups in the country. That's good for the military. But according to University Hospital's Margaret McClure, herself a colonel in the Army Reserve, the talent drain could make an existing shortage here even worse. It's not a situation where we have our pick of whatever we want and we have loads of qualified people who are just standing in line for the jobs because that's not the case. It's not the case in nursing in general. It's not the case in New York City for sure. Doctors and nurses are among those likely to lose income if they're called up. And like reservists in all kinds of jobs, they're protected by rules under federal law. Employers are not required to pay regular salaries, although some do make up the difference between civilian and military paychecks. But reservist jobs must be held up. Here at home and then all of a sudden something comes along that could change a lot of things. 27-year-old Teresa Otto is one of the 20,000 area reservists waiting to get the call. The second-year resident doctor is in good company at NYU Medical Center. One emergency room nurse here has already been sent to Saudi Arabia. Others worry they'll be next. If I do go, I think I'll be a little bit nervous. I've never been involved in that type of situation before. But um, we are trained, so I have confidence in that. Medical specialists are expected to be among the first to be assigned to active duty. Health administrators wonder what that could do to the city's health care. Margaret McClure is both a nursing administrator and a colonel in the Army Reserve. So if you start to talk now about taking large numbers of those folks out of the civilian community into the military, you are going to leave hospitals that were already short of staff to start with, shorter yet. More than a thousand of the city's emergency service workers are in the reserves. 800 in the police department, 100 in EMS, and 400 in the fire department. For their active duty, reservists will be guaranteed their jobs when they return. The government will pay their medical insurance, and loans and mortgage rates will be reduced to 6%. Teresa Otto, for one, was happy to serve in the reserves. It helped put her through medical school. But now she wonders if it will finally be payback time. You know that this is always a possibility that you will have to go. And not to go, for me, would it, it's incomprehensible. I, I can't imagine not going if you're called because, because that's a bargain. That's what, it's a gamble. In Manhattan, Pauline Liu, Fox News, Channel 5. Oil prices skyrocketed tomorrow, and a lot of New Yorkers and folks in New Jersey are wondering if they will be the ones to get that call. Pauline Liu reports. It's such an uncertainty. You, know, you, you think everything's going real well for you here at home, and then all of a sudden something comes along that could change a lot of things. 27-year-old Teresa Otto is one of the 20,000 area reservists waiting to get the call. The second-year resident doctor is in good company at NYU Medical Center. One emergency room nurse here has already been sent to Saudi Arabia. Others worry they'll be next. If I do go, I think I'll be a little bit nervous. I've never been involved in that type of situation before. But um, we are trained, so I have confidence in that. Medical specialists are expected to be among the first to be assigned to active duty. Health administrators wonder what that could do to the city's health care. Margaret McClure is both a nursing administrator and a colonel in the Army Reserve. So if you start to talk now about taking large numbers of those folks out of the civilian community into the military, you are going to leave hospitals that were already short of staff to start with, shorter yet. More than a thousand of the city's emergency service workers are in the reserves. 800 in the police department, 100 in EMS, and 400 in the fire department. For their active duty, reservists will be guaranteed their jobs when they return. The government will pay their medical insurance, and loans and mortgage rates will be reduced to 6%. Teresa